Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today, some of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. So, without further ado, let's get started. The Fox Show, Mask Singer, features celebrities who perform songs while wearing weird creepy and elaborate costumes. This is one of them. It's a dude wearing a World War I gas mask, combined with antlers on his head, creating a satanic nightmarish creature. That's some good family fun right here. And there's more. That's another costume. A white rabbit wearing a straitjacket, used to restrain people in mental institutions. Also, the glowing red eyes are a nice creepy touch. This is all pure monarch mind control symbolism. Indeed, the White Rabbit, from Alice in Wonderland, is a code for dissociation. Combined with the straitjacket, you get intense MK symbolism right on primetime TV. Here's another costume from the show, named Raven. The creepy bird has a cage over its head, more MK symbolism. Ricky Lake said that the costume symbolized metamorphosis and rebirth. That's exactly what mind control is about, but not in a good way. Another costume. A horned monster with one eye inside the top part of a six-pointed star. This monster, holding a fake guitar and mic, symbolizes the industry. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The posters promoting Jordan Peele's movie, Us, could not be more symbolic. The trailer tells the story of a family, being tortured by people who look exactly like them. The posters, all point towards the concept of multiple personas, the basis of mind control. On this one, the woman holds a mask of her own face which also hides one eye. Pure MK imagery. This other poster depicting two opposing faces, including one that is messed up, also alludes to the concept of dual personality. This third poster is quite creepy. If you look closer at the scissors, you'll notice that they resemble the faces above. Also, notice the devil horns on the scissors. Jordan Peele's first movie, Get Out, had clear mind control elements, and this second movie is following that path. This tweet reacting to the posters is quite appropriate, as this is exactly the goal of such movies, and of mind control in general. As a child, Cole Sprouse was the star of Disney's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, along with his twin brother Dylan. Today, Cole is 29 years old and, unfortunately, he needs to do weird occult elite stuff to stay in show busyness. For instance, this photoshoot from King Kong is pure occult elite mind control. Here, he's doing the one-eye sign with a flower. The hand of an unseen person, representing the MK handler, places the head of the mannequin above Sprouse's head, representing an MK altar persona. The silenced altar persona, a classic symbol of monarch mind control. The headless mannequin, another classic symbol of MK ultra. The handler forcing focus on one eye. Pure MK symbolism. This is a headline from Cosmopolitan, celebrating the ex-Disney star, Dove Cameron. Can you guess what kind of pictures were found in the article? Yup, one eye signs to let you know that she's owned by the industry. But wait, maybe she was raising her hand because she had a question. Another pic emphasizing one eye. But wait, maybe she was conducting scientific research at the time of the pick. A third pick with a one-eye sign. There is no coincidence, stars are forced to do this as a sign of submission. Actress Taraji P. Henson in the Edit magazine. Why do established movie stars do this stuff? 
because they want to stay established. But what about super veterans such as Samuel Jackson? Do they need to do ridiculous poses in mass media? Samuel Jackson and Hollywood Reporter And you better believe that up-and-coming stars need to do this. This Letitia Wright who starred in Black Panther and who has other big movies in the works. Hollywood Reporter again. Italian rapper Fetis recreating the occult elite sign of the eye inside the triangle. They also force local stars to do this. Super hit maker Benny Blanco worked with the likes of Ed Sheeran, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Maroon 5, Rihanna, Katy Perry, Kesha, Sia, The Weeknd, Selena Gomez, Wiz Khalifa, and Kanye West. And, yes, he has to hide one eye on the official website of Universal Music. Dan Reynolds, the lead singer of Imagine Dragons, in Gay Times magazine. His face says, what am I doing with my life? This is Lady Gaga on her show called Lady Gaga Enigma. One thing that is not an enigma, she still needs to walk around with a one-eye sign. In 2016, influencer James Charles became the first male ambassador of CoverGirl. In this Instagram makeup tutorial, he hides an eye and added a bunch of monarch butterflies. This pic got over 2 million likes. Speaking of makeup, this is BTS, the K-pop supergroup that is topping charts across the world. Do you notice something similar in all of these pics? Yup, they're all Korean. As usual, the one eye sign popped up everywhere. This is Naomi Campbell on the cover of Vogue with a one eye multiple personas themed cover. Vogue again. However, this is the Netherlands edition. Supermodel model, Laura Stone, is doing a big fat unmistakable one-eye sign. This creepy cover of Vogue Czech Republic combines the one-eye sign with an MK mask, representing the alter persona. Belina Christensen on the cover of Elle magazine Russia. Paper City is a magazine about Texas luxury lifestyle. It is also about blatant one-eye covers. Elise Steinfeld on the cover of the New York Times Style magazine. Another one I pick to make sure you understand that this is forceful and intentional. Wow, another magazine cover featuring a girl hiding one eye using a flower. So creative. In fact, everything about this magazine cover was so generic that I had to double check to see if it was real. As seen in previous videos, ads for brands are also replete with elite messages and symbolism. Why? Because the entire goal of ads is maximum exposure. What better vehicle to expose people to occult elite symbolism? This is a Sephora ad that could be seen everywhere during the holidays. These things can be found in nearly every retail store that sells toys, and they're extremely popular. On this package, a baby doll wearing a beta kitten outfit does the one eye sign. Weird. The logo of Goody Girl Cookies features an obvious one eye sign. The official website says that the brand was founded by Shira Burke, a former NYC music marketing exec. Makes sense. Also, the Instagram page of the brand features other one eye signs and a whole bunch of celebrities. The one eye sign leads to high places. Robert Pattison on the cover of Interview. His face says, I really hate what I have to do for my career right now. This is the poster of the 2018 International Film Festival in Poland. In case you didn't know, the movie industry is completely owned by the occult elite. This is the poster of the possession of Hannah Grace, an occult elite combo, and Verded Cross hiding one eye. They love to use horror movies to promote their satanic fantasies. This is a TV series named Arrow. On this ad, there's an arrow covering this guy's eye. That's all you really need to know about Arrow. British writer, television presenter, model, and fashion designer, Alexa Chung, does a clear one-eye sign on the cover of British Girls. Halsey is a big pop star. Of course, she has to do the one-eye sign. 
This is her on the cover of Glamour. But wait. Maybe she's just winking here. Let's look at some other pics from that photo shoot. The clear one eye sign. But wait. Maybe she was about to scratch an eye on this carefully planned fashion shoot. There's no accident, just 100% occult elite submission. In fact, her entire act is fully tainted with MK symbolism. That's the pic SNL used before Halsey's performance. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.